Well, finally, a group of workers in, uh, in a Saanich office are a little lighter tonight. It began with one employee's battle with breast cancer. She's been diagnosed with the disease twice and yesterday finished her second round of chemo. And as the office watched her fight, four employees decided to help by shaving their heads. And like a good piece of office gossip, the idea spread and the dollars poured in. One, two, three, here we go. In a few moments, he'll be bald. She's going for the same look. <laughs> you could call the cut the Christine Bowles, named after their co-worker who yesterday ended her second round of chemotherapy. I had my first cancer in 2009. She fought back and won temporarily. Last year, the breast cancer returned. It's tough to see her go through this a second time. Especially in an office so close, it didn't take long for the plan to begin. Um, one of my staff members sent out an email two weeks ago, and we were hoping to get four people to shave their head to raise money. Instead, what they got was an entire office, 30 people losing their hair for Christine. She's, she's an inspiration to all of us, and uh, we're so proud of her. Uh, glad to call her one of our own and uh, makes the uh, troubles we have in our day-to-day -day lives seem uh, pretty small in comparison. Small troubles such as coming to terms with a new haircut. I'm, I think I'm in a state of shock, but I'm, I'm really glad I'm doing this. I'm really, really glad. When it's all said and done, she discovers it's not that bad. We'll get some suntan on it. <laughs> And nothing compared to living with cancer, a disease the office is trying to cut off for good. I, I mean, I have 20 or 30, 25 nieces, I have daughters. Just the thought of the possibility of a world without breast cancer, I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, that's what the goal is. And if you're wondering what an office of 30 people, all without their hair, can accomplish... Just hitting the 20,000 mark. In two weeks. In two weeks. It's money that will go directly to the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation to help find a cure. Until then... It's just, you, you just have to enjoy every single day. Don't believe that it's going to get you because it won't. Not with that attitude and not with an office like this.